Due to the graphic nature of this program, viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. I love being a police officer here. This just in the area that I work in, there's a lot of good people here, but there's a lot of people trying to take advantage of the good people here. And so it's, uh, it was described to me once as like fish in a barrel sometimes. And Sometimes it is. If you if you want to find uh, something to get into, if you want to find a bad guy, you don't have to look very long or very hard. Oh. We're going to try to catch this car. It was uh, parked on the wrong side of the road running, and high beams were on. It's a Chevy. Uh, it's an indicator it might be stolen, so we want to get up here and check it out. Stay in the car. Get back in the car. I'm gonna drive no, Yes, I do. Where are you taking off to in such a hurry? No, I had parked on the wrong side of the street. Yeah, I know, I know. Go ahead and close it and roll your window down. I'll start over. How about you? You got a driver's license on you? No, ma'am. So you don't, and you don't have yours on you either? Okay. That's okay. Come on, step out. Can we put all the comments on your sheet? I'm just going to go back here for a second, okay? I just don't want to chase you down the street, okay? Just be cool and everything will be fine. You don't got your driver's license and you're thinking a little too hard about who you are, okay? Put your hands on the back of your head and interlock your fingers. Interlock your fingers, man. Interlock your fingers. Spread your feet for me real wide, real wide. You got anything on you that's going to hurt me? Spread them real wide, man. You're tall. Hey, man, get back in that car. George, 15, start me some units, 3,500. Have a seat. I need him to get here. Copy Baker's. Come here, man. Okay, just come with me. Okay, just come on out here with me. Okay. I just told you to not take off running from me, okay? I went for the run, no way. I'm well, I told you to stop. Okay, I'm missing. Come on over here. Okay, okay. I'm not I'm not trying to get in no I trouble. I know you're now. not trying to, but I'm not gonna chase you down the street, okay? Yeah, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to highlight my uncle. That's all I'm okay. trying to do. Okay, put your not... shirt on the trunk, mm -hmm. put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Put Why? your hands what on. What did I do? Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Just for my safety, man. Just do it. Okay, will you please stop choking me? Just do it. Put your hands on your head. Oh. Spread your feet real wide. Listen, man, relax. I'm trying to, man. Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Put your hands on your head and interlock your fingers. Give me your hand now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. All the way down. Okay. Give me the other hand. Oh, yeah. What did I do wrong? You're under man? arrest. How about that? Stay down. Nothing. I don't know what I did. That's all I want to know. What did I do? George 15, keep them coming. I had to fight. Stay just me, like man. that. Stay just like that. Every time you look around, I'm always... Oh, you're gonna stay here till my sis gets here and then we're gonna get up. Yeah, and we ain't fixing to do nothing. You're gonna do what I told you. Okay, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I'd be getting scared. I'm kind of like this is way. You know what? I'm not playing with you. I got them both in custody. This guy needs to be patted down real good and I need to stick him in a separate car. I got the driver. I don't know why he tried to run. I wasn't trying to run. Shut up. What's in his shirt? I wasn't trying to run. Shut up. All you had to do was what I told you to. You okay. think I'm stupid? You think it's the first time I've done this? Put him in your car. Okay. Sorry, you don't, sorry, man, sorry. You don't have to give my arm. I'm sorry, dude. I'm trying to get man. Okay, I'm not. I'm going to get a man. Did you check him real good? Put my hands behind my back and I can feel like flip I'm sorry. All right, have a seat. Put my pants up, please. please 3,500. Thanks. Hey, 
don't know who he is. I mean, are you all right? I'm outside. Sit in the car, man. Do you want to tell me what all the fuss is about and why your buddy's wanting to, why you're wanting to jump out of the car? Do you want to tell me what's going on? I wasn't trying to, man, I just went over that man's house looking for this dude's house. I couldn't find the house. I was just on the wrong side of the street. You know what I'm saying? I went, I just gave you my job, my insurance. That's it. Okay, so why all the fuss about, you know, being on the wrong side of the road and not having your driver's license? What's all the, what's the fuss about? Because if you don't have a driver's license, people think you're lying. Okay, that's true enough. That's the only reason why. That's, that's why, the only, why is he acting like that? I don't know why he acting like that, man. You know what I'm saying? I was just nervous. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to cause no problem, you know? Okay. Officer Scrat. Sir. He said 210. All right, they, they checked the passenger. He does have a parole violation warrant outstanding at this time. Okay. So we got that for sure, and they, they've got a little bit of crack on the floorboard inside the car, so. Okay. You want to tell me uh, what this uh, big fight was all about? I wasn't trying to fight you, miss. I'm sorry. If, if I if I hurt you, I'm, if I try, I don't, I don't want to try to. I'm, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? God, really, man, when real. you start the fight, that means you are trying to fight me, okay? I'm, I'm in sorry. uniform. You know I'm a police officer. Yeah, I'm just I trying to get... That's police. Well, I'm trying to get you to tell me what what all this is about, all this fighting with me. What, what was that uh, about? No, I was just like... I, when you told me to put my hands behind my head, I was trying to do it. And I'm like, it's a friend. And you start putting my shirt real close to my neck. And I'm like, damn. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't, couldn't hardly breathe. Mm -hmm. This shirt was all So it's my fault you're fighting. I don't say that. Okay. Yeah, I mean, well, okay, well, I'll tell you why that happened. One, this is not my first time making a traffic stop where somebody trying to run off from me okay that's why you I didn't I, yeah you were and that's why that's why you started to get handcuffed and that's why you're where you are okay that's why everything happened the way it did okay but you are under arrest you got a parole violation warrant and you're also going for resisting okay watch your feet well they're going to jail for parole violations both of them so yeah. You never know what you're going to get on a traffic stop. That's and right. It should have been a big red flag when I couldn't get on the radio and call out. So You always got to be ready for that. Yeah, I'm glad y'all got here because if you'd been far off, I'd been in trouble. Yeah. All right. No problem. We're on our way to a wedding chapel downtown on a report of a fight. We've had a lot of problems with wedding chapels lately over at the courthouse. When you come out of the courthouse, you get your certificate, and then you're trying to get in a limousine to go get married. And you got about 10 different owners of different wedding chapels out here fighting for your business. And it's been getting pretty rough lately. So it's amazing. Only in Vegas do we have problems with fights at wedding chapels. I have about front of the wedding chapel, three to four subjects, no description yet. It's right here in the front of the wedding chapel, three to four people. So we'll see. Okay, so the 416, it's two WMAs and one HMA. It's all. What's going on? You know, we own a wedding chapel. I know okay. exactly about the wedding chapel okay. feud. When is this wedding feud going to end? It's the between it's the, ended, I know, it's between just, the three of these chapels. But all the other chapels Every ended day, it. I know, every day. You know you know the story better than I do. Every exactly. day there's fights. And I understand it. But I'm, what I'm trying to say to you is we haven't had any fights down there in a long time. Okay. These two guys came back out. One girl, one guy came back out to the block and are causing problems. Nobody's caused What is it that you want us to help you with today? Get these guys arrested for threatening me each and every time. A bomb scare, they're going to... I have a okay. I have a 7-year-old in the car and a 14-year-old. Okay. And he told me that he's going to slice their throat. They're going to follow Who me home. Who are these two? In, they're two in the business in the wedding chapel now. They're not from this wedding chapel. This what wedding, wedding cha chapel's hiding them out. They're from the wedding chapel. They're, what are they going to yeah, say? Yeah, they got him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He hasn't heard that. He's got to get him. Yeah. He doesn't have to go. Hey, Jim, he's probably 440. And, uh, Walk to the front of my car, man. I guess there's another guy. They were hiding him. Right by the license plate. Spread your feet. They were hiding him? Yes. You pat him already, yeah, did we? Uh, yeah, they were. Because I went inside there. Why are you hiding inside the, the chapel, chapel, man? Oh, there's inside no the chapel? Here. Yeah. And you are there. No, You're the hiding owner, in the chapel. Yeah, the owner was the only one to tell you that. Because uh, we didn't know if they were going to try to get in the chapel or not. What do you got in here? Just a phone? Phone, His wife is eight months pregnant, got she's punched in the stomach down. allegedly, so she's coming back down here to do something. Why them. are we here? These guys started chasing me and my wife because we were out in the courthouse. Now we talk to them because they talk to us. And 
and uh, she found out I had a warrant here in Las Vegas for a traffic ticket. She seen me earlier today, and she won't come to me alone to talk all her <laughs> She wants to wait until she gets her own. How do we get to the point of your wife getting hit? Because they were chasing us. Okay, I'll talk to her. Okay, calm down. Stand by my car. Good grief. Calm down. Hi, baby. What is going on? They're chasing me right now. They have all their corks. Who is chasing Their limos. You? They got all their limos parked on all these side streets, and they saw me, and they followed me. Okay, so now you're here, and they were chasing you from where? I had come from my chapel. I had called him on his cell phone. He said he was here. Okay. So I came down here. You need here. medical attention. Probably. Okay. Now, your husband was saying that you got hit by someone. When did that happen? That happened about a week and a half ago. Oh, so that's not that's not today. No, they okay. had chased us through the four queens and me and my son. These parties here are all part of the feuding wedding chapels in downtown Vegas. One owner, the lady over here in the blue, owns one wedding chapel. The other people here work for a different wedding chapel, and they're all fighting for business, and it's just getting to be ridiculous. You know what? We used to work with Detective Pinch trying to get this thing all pulled up because she was a chapel task force, and these guys just don't stop, you know, because they think they won so far. And uh, yeah, that's the other car that was following me around. That car following you? Yeah, they were following me. Yeah, it'd be in they think they're mafia or something. Yeah, I'm in front of my car. So, uh, how are you connected with our little saga? In front of my car. How am I connected? Yeah, how did you end with the beat? Here, right now. I'm her husband. Cheryl? Cheryl. I can't believe that. Bridge Feet for me. What's your name? Craig. Craig. Now, these people are saying, Craig, that you have been chasing them around. Bridge Feet. You've been chasing them around. Uh, I don't know, I can kind of crazy someone said you also had a gun. So what, how are you involved in this? How am I involved? I said I'm her husband. I own a wedding chapel on 200 West. Mm -hmm. This guy here has been calling my chapel, threatening us, saying he's going to come on the road, put bombs on there. He said tonight he's going to be down here at 8 o'clock to get us. And uh, we came down here. He was here. and. I know, I know he has, I know he has uh, numerous of warrants and stuff, so. And how would you know that? How come you're so involved because, in his business? Well, my, after he's been bomb threatening us and everything. Bomb threatening you. And uh, right. telling us he's going to kill me and all this kind of it's stuff. My D. I this is uh, Cheryl's husband who's also involved. He was the ponytail guy that has probably punched this one on the ground. Okay. Oh, and I punched him? I have no idea. You know, I wasn't here, I, so. I, <laughs> Okay, we're done with him. Yeah, he was, he might have been a suspect, it was a week and a half ago, and that's the end of that. Okay, what are we gonna do with the um, pregnant lady who was kicked? She didn't, she, she said she wasn't kicked, except for a week ago, she fell over the fence while she was trying to run away okay. from him. Oh, so, there's no battery. Okay. She's just gonna get checked out, kick him loose. Again, a BMA black shirt. Kick him all loose, except for guys who were 40. All right, Thomas, here's the deal, man. We're gonna... This is how we're going to wrap this up, OK? You got some warrants you ain't taken care of. You're going to go to jail tonight for them, OK? I mean, obviously, you knew that was coming. Yeah, I know it was traffic thing, yeah. OK, so What's the other thing, I guess, uh, petty warrants. larceny and a traffic warrant. It's not the end of the, it's not, petty not the biggest thing, but you got I already went to court on that, like, six months ago. Okay. And they told me if I'm I not the judge when we're not in a court, OK? We'll so I don't do know. the electronic anyway. So we'll just do the electronic, and then you can wrap that up when we get, okay. get down there, all right? Fair enough? Hang tight. This has to stop. I am tired right, so am I. of this whole wedding, but the I wedding don't, feud. I don't, I'm just saying to you, it, I know. even he says the same thing, and each and every time it's the same sergeant that they... Have you called him and talked to him? Yeah, and he just tells me, he usually hangs up on me and doesn't want to hear it. So. Okay. I mean, you know as much as I talked to you okay. when we talked to, yeah. when I talked to you nine exactly. months ago about and the same problem. Ago. Okay. And so, I came right to you and said I got I know, issue. but I just, I, this has to stop. Okay. Yep, we don't have does. the manpower or the resources to be spending time on this all this wedding stuff. No okay. Thank you. Wedding chapels are supposed to be about love. What happened? All the fighting? Only in downtown Vegas. I started out on the Jacksonville Fire Department as a firefighter, actually. And uh, I don't know, I guess it wasn't challenging enough for me, so I decided to become a police officer. And I uh, started out uh, as a deer riding with a friend of mine, worked for the sheriff's office. And after that first ride, I just. Uh, was bit by the bug and I just had to become the police. And uh, I don't regret it, I've enjoyed every bit of it. And uh, every day is new and exciting. 
And uh, it's something I probably would, would do for free, even if they didn't pay me. I love you just that much. Right now we're heading to a hot call. Call came in as a uh, burglar alarm. Officer arrived and there's a suspect breaking inside the place and we got him running behind the business up here. We're gonna get up here and get her some support and see if we can set up a perimeter and contain this guy. Which building is she at? Which building is she at? Charlie 166 Where's she at? Give me a unit to the back of the building, or the south end. Charlie 168, 1033. Get on the, uh, Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Put your hand behind your back. Charlie 168. I got one in the back of uh, the old, I guess, food line, or where this place is, uh, down by 44th him. and Springfield. You're with him. Four units to the back here, and we'll check the uh, building. You can check my ID in my back pocket. You're 18. Clean. Clean, no real. HQ, Charlie 168. I'm over here at uh, just. West of the uh, gas pumps at 44 Springfield, one in custody. Sarge, if we can get a unit, go to the uh, south end and ensure we got everybody. Let's go ahead and get him up, get him put in the car. Go ahead and roll on your hip for me. Oh, clean. I, I ain't. That okay, go ahead. Me. All right. We'll help you out, man. Go ahead and sit up for me. Go ahead and sit up for me. Ah. Ah. This way. Oh, yeah. I approve my idea in my back pocket. No. Boy, that shit because it's clean. That's funny. Yeah. Okay, I got his ID right here. 18 okay. years old, clean. Did you get anything else on you that you shouldn't have? I, I wasn't doing nothing. Okay. What are you, what are you running Listen. from? Cause the police just came. I just seen my friend Lena. He told okay. me we were trying to break in Stepping Style. So your friend Lena was trying to break in Stepping Style? His name Lena. Okay, where, 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 where were you at during this time? I was coming from the train track. I just came from uh, Terrace. So what exactly did he tell you? He told me to come over here because he got something set up. And he was like with two little broads. So I figured it was a booty call. Okay. I come over here, he's running. He was like, run, run, cause the police coming. I ran this way. I seen one car park right okay. there. Okay, when I took off running. Now, where was he at when he told you to run? He was going that way. Y'all just chased him, Nana. The one with the, the cur um, shirt on looked like Freddy Krueger. Okay. The little, the little stripes on the shirt, blue, red, and all that. We got on black chucks. Let's do this here. Go and have a seat till we figure out what's going on. You can run my idea. Yes, sir. We'll check you out. And I just saw you run out of the building, you and your buddy. So you yes, saw. Yes, sir. No, sir. So this guy here was inside the building when you pulled up? Your buddy was yelling at you when he ran by. I know, and I wasn't in there. OK. Yes, your story, and you're going to stick to it. But I just saw What's you up? come out. Tell, tell me, out. tell me, listen to me. OK, earlier. Be honest with earlier, me and tell me. I'm going to tell you straight up. What's earlier, that? earlier, he came, OK, early, he got What's off his leg monitor. Right there. Today getting off his leg monitor. The guy with the blue oh. shorts on, or no, your just, other buddy? Just, just stand oh. right there. Today, the guy with the blue shorts, the day was the day getting off the lead monitor. Okay. Um, he came by and seen me. He had already told me he had something set up with two females. Okay. okay I was still at chairs talking to my old lady on the phone because we just got through arguing. This ain't what I, this, I ain't tell y'all all the details, but now I'm telling the whole story. There's a lot of things I you didn't tell me. Huh? Obviously, there's a lot of things you didn't tell me. I didn't tell you that I was talking to my old That's lady before right. I came over here. Tell me, tell okay. me I, I just broke the story down. Okay. And you acting like I was all the way in the um, building. I was you, like. You were in. But I you wasn't come doing, out of the building. You seen me come out of there? Yes, sir. You positive? You just said you came out and admitted you came out. You just wasn't in there long. But you were saying like I was doing something wrong. I didn't. I didn't even know what was going on. He just called me over here. That's why I was like, Did I'm innocent. Did you not just admit to me that you were just in the building just yes, not Yes, I said that. Okay. okay. But I wasn't in there. It's like you he were just called in me. There this is what it was. This how it happened. He called me when I got around here. Blum. 
y'all were chasing him. Right. That's when I stepped in and came right back out. Because okay. he, by the time he took off running, I had just stepped in and so I was you taking a for him? Is that no, what it was? I, I came up on him because he was like, meet me such and such because I came down the train track. Okay. But when I got down hill, all I seen was police car because that's when I had stepped in and seen y'all chasing Where's me. your other buddy at? Did I don't, you it was three. After you? I'm the third one. I'm the one they just called. Okay. One got blue shots and the red on um, blue shirt. That's Leonard. That's okay. my best friend. Just got off the lead monitor. That's the one I was talking about. Now, the third one, I don't know. That's one of his friends. Did he come that's out before you gotta or ask. after you? I don't know because mm -hmm. I was innocent. That's for sure. That's well, real. Okay. Me. That's why I let run my ID in because I ain't got time to go. All right, well, just sit tight. We get the bottom of this. And the version he gave you, not the version he gave me. Yeah, he's definitely uh, mixed yeah. up on the stories. Yeah. I'll so you saw him coming out of the building. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Good yeah, pop. We'll see. Thank you. One thirty two in Bush. I got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty two in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Get a twenty five fourteen can transmit on tech two. Okay, we'll still send a code three.